Hello, welcome back to Armoured Warfare. So today we'll have a look at the two starting vehicles. They're both armoured fighting vehicles. So first we've got the M113. So we're going to look at some details. So this has been used all around the world, everywhere. So it's production total of 80,000 units. So special ability of the AFVs, the armoured fighting vehicles. It has the ability to des designate targets that are within line of sight and vision range. Designated targets are called out and take increased damage. So we have the M113 and we also have the PT76. So if we go to the dealers, we see Wolfie is the M113 and Shiskin it's the PT-76. So details, this is a Russian built light tank. No, I didn't realise it was a light tank. So its special ability has the ability to increase engine output temporarily. So, these are both the starters. This, max speed 36. Let's see if I can open up another box. Yeah, looks like I can. There we go. So, start at the top. Damage. The M113 has a little auto cannon. There's very little damage in each shot, but fires a lot of shots. The PT76 has a normal cannon, which does a lot more damage in a single shot. But it's DPM, which is quite common for these auto cannon. The ones lacking the auto cannons is a lot less than its auto cannon equivalent. So you can see the DPM for the auto cannon on the M113 is over 3,000 compared to less than 2,000. But of course, with a low penetration of 69, which is again typical of these auto cannons on the armoured fighting vehicles, compared to 150, chances of penetrating are a lot less. So unless you use HE ammo, which of course you don't do as much damage, and it's dependent on how much armour the target has. So it's probably overall not that much difference. So hit points, the M113 has a lot less. The M113 has a tiny bit of armour. On the hull, not so much on the turret as the PT-76, but both really have essentially no armour. Just avoid getting hit, because you will die. So otherwise, the M113 is a lot faster at nearly 60 kilometres an hour and it accelerates really quickly. Camouflage values, I'm not actually sure which are better. I think a higher value is probably better, but I don't actually know. So, it looks like the M113 is a lot better. It should be, as it's an armoured fighter vehicle. And also, view range is a lot less on the PT-76. So, gun depression is a lot better on the PT-76. Turret traverse, a lot worse. Reload time, worse, but again, since it's got less DPM, you should probably expect it. Accuracy spread, not so bad on the PC76. Targeting time, 2.65 seconds. So, again, worse. So I think overall, the M113 is probably my preferred, but. It's a bit more of a target, it's a bit, a bit higher up. The PT-76 has this dinky little turret which can be quite hard to hit. And you're also with a penetration of 150, a lot more likely to penetrate and do damage to more things. But it doesn't have the des designate target ability. I think the light tank increased speed and the acceleration ability is pretty, pretty much useless for the small amount of time it is activated. So I think, now I'm not sure whether these values are for upgraded or not, just have a look, so both of mine are fully upgraded, oh, I can do that, yeah. I like that title, so I've upgraded to the best armour piercing, discarding Sabo, so for the auto cannon, damage of 22, penetration 69. So that's 
interesting. It has no HE on this as well, which I didn't realise. Let's just have a look at the PT-76. Yep, that's only got armour piercing as well. Is this just all high velocity armour piercing? So pe penetration 150, so that looks like it's using the stats for the top ammunition that you have. I haven't done these either. Might as well do it, so I've got the XP. So proven, even without these. So let's have a game, I think with the M113, as it's more interesting and faster. So I think the PT-76 is probably about the slowest tank in the game. Let's have a look at the pattern and the... Ooh, M41 goes 72 kilometers. Pattern goes 48, so I'm pretty sure it is the slowest, at least of the non-artillery. I've not really had a look at those, let's have a look. Dealers. M109. No, that goes 55. Let's just have a look at the Wolfie one. Yep, that goes nearly 60, so it's a very slow tank for this game. Okay, let's play a game. So we've got Operation Quarterback. So as you can see, Tier 1s can only play in easy, Tier 2s medium and easy, Tier 3 hard, medium and easy, Tier 4 extreme and all the others. So they can get pretty hard, they're not particularly easy battles. So I lost my connection in the first one I tried due to my end, not the game. Let's see if we can get into another game. So basically in these, you want to spot and designate targets, but particularly in these lower tiers, you'll tend to just keep moving and firing and shooting tanks. So on these original PVE missions, they're quite easy, so you don't need to worry too much about designating targets. You're probably better off just to move and shoot. But when it gets harder, you will die quite quick if you're not careful. It's much better if you're hidden and spotting and designating. Particularly as in this case, other tanks are faster and they're going to rush ahead, whatever you do. So you can't, you don't really have time. So by the time you designate most targets, they'll already be dead. But anyway, so if something's welcome to the desert, Black Company. If something's aimed at you, keep the moving onto A. Do not stay still. Let's spin this back. bush. We need to take the refinery. Otherwise, the PLS will control oil prices for the entire region. You can see the white eye above him. We spotted him. Good luck. So, no yellow eye above us, so we weren't spotted there. That's nice and safe. Ammo, up. Ooh. So if you see somebody aiming at you, move. the yellow eye, that means we're spotted. So it's time to think about moving. Let's see if we can get behind them. Oh, wasn't expecting. 
Let's get around. I haven't got very good gun suppression. Identify target. Oh, he's not aiming at us. Oh, that something is. Let's move. Oh, there's lots of things. Definitely time to change our position. That. I think that's a mission objective. No, something else. That one over there. Just about to change of aim. Oh, that's uh, nice to move. So I haven't got a repair pack, which is only usable in PvE, or that particular repair pack. So I should have reloaded there. I forgot I have just missed. So we've got one behind us somewhere. Okay. So in PvE you need to know where the spawns are so you don't end up in the middle of a spawn because they will just appear. That Good work. That should slow them down for a while. Identify. Very quick there. Fire at us there, I think. Identify. Oh, Thanks. some behind us. That one's dead. Shot. Let's just hide here for a second. Oh, there's another one. Wait for our friend to distract him. Okay. Taking a bit of a risk. Alright, Black Company, you're in position. Hold for air support. Incoming hostile! Oh, what time reload? Okay, let's push this one off. Let's stop moving. I think the other side, I don't think it's going to hit us. Good cover for you to shoot through, and then the AI doesn't seem to adjust. Enjoy your payday. Oh, we finished already because there was some just in the cap. We might have been in the cap actually. Now, people often say leave it and shoot all the tanks, but often they can be quite hard to find, and it's quicker just to get on to the next game and cap out. So, victory. Not a brilliant game, but it's all right. Let's see what damage we did. It does get a lot harder at the higher levels than this. These ones are very, very easy. So, how did we do? Uh, okay. So we've got M41 and the T92. Oh, that did well. So we spotted 12 and spotted 22. It's quite reckless. So that's okay. So we've got our XP. As you can see, we've got 11,000 instead of 16,000. We would have got if we had a premium account. 467 XP rather than 700. So we've got all the stats, hits received, 6, damage received, so 
spotted enemies. Total assists. So we've got some assistance. Shots fired, 330. Shots on target, 203. Oh, it could be worse. So this is fairly typical of the AFV, the Armoured Fighting Vehicles. So as you go up in the harder missions, you need to spot more and stay back more. But of course, if you have a whole team of light tanks and the AFVs, it's a bit more difficult. So you have to judge, but at this level you can really just zoom about and shoot things. It's really quite fun. So I'll leave it there for today. So bye bye from Arms of Warfare, and I'll see you again next time.